Hi everyone, I'm Julian here. Welcome to Take Tutorials Garage. Today I'm working on my Alpha Male Spider and I'm going to be replacing all of the electrical bits on the car. Now I picked up all the parts that I need for this job when I went to Classic Alpha and they gave me a coil, distributor cap, rotor arm, spark plugs and distributor lead. So basically these are all the bits I need to get this car freshened up because it's been really really hard to start it lately. Originally my plan in, the, in, in this episode was actually to replace the knackered radiator fan which has been causing me a huge amount of grief and it's just ridiculously noisy anyway. Uh, but because it's getting harder to start the car, doing the work to actually get the fan off the car and flush the cooling system is going to be a lot harder so I might as well while I'm at it get rid of all these, replace them with new ones and then fingers crossed the car will start on the button. Let's get cracking. Now the first job is to take out the old battery. Uh, this is the battery that came with the car and because the radiator fan has been running constantly when the car is driving it's pretty much knackered this battery so I've got a new one which makes sense because if you're going to redo all the electrics on the car you might as well get a fresh battery as well so I'll get rid of this and then that will make it a lot easier to get access to the coil which is fitted very very snugly right here in the corner on the left side of the radiator. Alright let's get the spanners out. So here's the old coil and the negative terminal for the battery and as you can see it, it is a lot easier to get access to the coil and just move it around with the battery out of the way. Loads more space here. So what I need to do now is basically just make note of where the connections are on this coil because we have a negative and a positive. So what I'm going to do is just check all these leads, make sure they're in the right place and then match it up with the new coil. So just so you can see what I mean, on the top of the new coil, and it's the same on the old one, we have a 1 and a 15, we have a negative and a positive. So I need to match that up with the old coil and then fingers crossed that'll be old hunky dory. Well that's the new coil in place and all the wires reconnected. The next job is to go out the spark plugs. The firing order on the Alpha 2 litre twin cam is one, three, four, two, with one being the front of the engine. Now I've put these labels here just so I know exactly what order they're supposed to be in, and I've also labeled up the leads. Now, you might ask why am I bothering to label up the old leads when I'm gonna throw them away? Uh, I need to know exactly the position they're in at the moment because when I put the new leads on they have to mirror exactly otherwise the car won't fire properly which won't be any good. So I'm going to pull the plug leads and then take out the spark plugs and install the new ones. When it comes to taking the spark plugs out of the car, you can use a standard socket head, but it's recommended to use a special spark plug socket head like this one here. And as you can see, it's got a rubber insert inside which helps to push down onto the spark plug head and grabs onto it and stops it from dropping out when you take it out of the car. So, yeah, handy little spanner head, 21mm, just the right size for the Alpha spark plugs. Here's the spark plug from cylinder one. Yeah, a little bit of oil there, and I think it's definitely starting to look a bit tired. So yeah, definitely due a replacement. And all the spark plugs are out. As you can see, cylinder one, there's definitely a bit of oil there at the top. Cylinder three, not as bad, still a little bit there. Four is getting drier, and two, yeah, looking dry too. So there's the old spark plugs. One, three, four, two, yep. Definitely a bit oily there, and I mean, <laughs> you can't compare, really. Shiny new, old and grubby. One little tip before you put your spark plugs back in, and that is to smear a little bit of copper grease on the threads. And that reduces the risk of cross-threading, and the last thing you want to do is to get your spark plugs cross-threaded in the block of your Alpha engine. Definitely not a good idea. And look at those shiny brand new spark plugs. Don't they look pretty? Yeah, they went in nice and handy, which was great. And now we get to the fun part. Use distributor cap, use distributor leads. And these have to replace the old ones. 
Now just to point out with this particular lead set, there is an earth wire here, which isn't needed on this S3 Spider because there's no earth lead running from my current distributor anywhere on the car. So I checked with the guys at Classic Alpha and they said, yeah, you don't need it. So I'm gonna snick that off and then get ready to check the orientation of all the leads. So now I'm gonna take off the distributor cap, a little clip down there to move out of the way, and one at the top and pull, and here it comes. Now, what I need to check is the orientation because there's a little slot in the top of the distributor down here, which matches here, which basically means that's the only place that I can fit on the distributor. So I've got to match exactly the same, make sure it'll work. So I've got the leads numbered. I've checked each lead. And what I'm gonna do is position the distributor here, the old one, and put the new one here. And then I'm going to mirror the leads for the new ones that connect on here. One thing just to point out on the leads and when it comes to trying to figure out which one goes where, they do kind of give you a little bit of a, a hint with the length of the leads. So you have a long one and then gradually they step down in length and logic dictates that the longest throw goes over here and the shortest goes there. So yeah, just to you know help with working out which goes where. Take a look at the leads, look at the lengths, make sure the ends are the same length, and then you can start to work out which is one, which is three, four, and two. And there we have it, all connected. So I've matched the wires up, so they look exactly the same as on the old one. So we got one, three, four, and then two. Now before I go any further, I need to take out the old rotor arm, which as you can see is right down there. Whip that out, put in the new one, and then we'll get the cap on. So here you can see the rotor arms. Guess which one is the old one? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yep, you can see there's a bit of scoring there on the top. It doesn't look as clean. So when you go to put the distributor cap on, make sure you get that little guy there lined up with the one in the bottom get into place hold it tight and fiddle with the clips and get it locked in and the distributor cap is on took a bit of fiddling the uh, spring clips on the top and the bottom there were a real pain to try and clip in and it was really really fiddly and you know access is a little bit restricted thanks to the thermostat and the radiator pipe there. So we're nearly there. Just a few more bits to do and we'll be ready to fire up. So again, logic dictates one, three, four, and then two. So let's get these plugged in. So just to recap on everything I've done, I've replaced the coil, distributor cap, distributor leads, rotor arm, and spark plugs. And I've got a new battery in. It's a slightly higher capacity than the one that was installed. Not by much, but just a little bit more. So hopefully it'll crank a bit better. So the best thing to do now is to actually see if the car will start. some of my connections, but 
I would call that a success. Yes. That's it for this episode of Take the Road's Garage. Hope you guys enjoyed my electrical improvements to my Series 3 Alpha Male Spider. Don't forget you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And if you guys would like to help me make more of these plastic art films, head on over to my Patreon page. And just so you guys know as well, I am cooking up something really cool for another one of my cars. And I won't tell you exactly which one yet. Um, well, it's basically going to be either my Bertone X19 or my Golf. It's a tussle between the two. Uh, but basically, I'm going to be starting a new little mini garage series as a branch off from Take the Rose Garage. And I'm going to be focusing on one of my other cars as well. So, yeah, can't wait to get working on those. And the next job for this is to finally get around to sorting out that really, really annoying electric fan that's on the radiator. Now that all my electrics are sorted out, I can crack on with that. So the next episode of Take Your Rose Garage, starring my Alpha Spider, will be all about that annoying electric van. Take care guys, see you soon, thanks for watching, adios.